Welcome everybody to this build log episode of Micro Flash Gamma, my three pound combat robot. I'm Jason, the creator of Team Rocker Robotics. And now in the last episode of this show, I went ahead and did a nice overall concept of Micro Flash and kind of figured out what I would ideally like the robot to look like and things like that. Today is the reality check episode where I go back and start doing some math, well I've already done some math, and figure out is this thing I sketched actually practical? Well the short answer to that is no, and you'll see why in just a moment, but first I want to break down the ideal mass of this robot. So a beetle weight combat robot will clock in at 1360 grams, that's 3 pounds. For me I want to leave 20 grams for what I call combat day weight or combat day mass. Because that way if I come a little bit under the ideal total on combat day or in the event day, whenever that happens to be, I can go ahead and adjust the robot a little bit, add a few parts here and there, or make repairs necessary, and not worry too much about having to go over the um, mass limit of the robot. Then I got 40 grams of fudge weight. Basically, I've broken the rest of the mass down into four categories, and these extra 40 grams can kind of be assigned wherever I feel is necessary, because like I said, the next four categories, the numbers are kind of arbitrary. Electrical, that's 250 grams. That's basically batteries, ESC, wiring, all that fun stuff. Structure, this is structure and armor, 400 grams, so that's all the metal and UMHW parts that make up the body of the robot. Weapon, weapon is also 400 grams, this would be the weapon itself, the drive system of the weapon, and the weapon ESC. And the drive system, this would be obviously the drive motors, the motor mounts, the wheels, the hubs, all those kind of things, and that is 250 grams. And those four bottom mass categories all add up to 1300 grams, so 1300 plus 40 plus 20 is 1360 total. Now let me jump over to my computer and you can see where I'm running into issues. So the tab of the spreadsheet you're looking at here is the structure and armor one, which is a moment ago I mentioned, I want this all to add up to about 400 grams. The problem is, I'm already at a total of about 400 grams, like 402, and if you notice, there's nothing entered in here for the aluminum structure that's supposed to hold the weapon together. That's obviously a bit of a serious problem. So here's what I'm going to do. i got to go ahead and reduce the amount of mass in the back structure of the robot here. This is the entire plastic part. In order to do that, i got to condense things down a little bit. But in order to figure out the details how things get condensed, i got to do some actual modeling of some of the internal components. So first things first, let's get the motors out of the old mounts and into the new ones. So I've taken the electronic speed controller out of the previous kind of tray slash battery mount that I had before that was sitting in between the motors, and I think I can reduce the width of it quite a bit because I'm pretty sure I can still slide the ESC in here with a new mount, and then that's going to allow me to go ahead and put the battery back here somewhere. That's what I'm thinking. Well, there you go. That brings us to the end of this particular build log in the YouTube series of Micro Flash Gamma, my three pound combat robot. At this point, I've got the basic gist of what I'm trying to accomplish done. And the next step is to turn it all into a fairly detailed 3D model, which I'll do in the next episode in this series. So once again, I'm Jason, the creator of Team Rocker Robotics. To go ahead and get the latest videos, go ahead and subscribe to me here on YouTube. If you want to watch this stuff live, head over to twitch.tv forward slash rocker robotics and you can follow me there to see what notifications when I go live for these videos. So once again, thanks for watching and have a good night.